two teams will play physical tonight. Drop of the puck, Pitter Patter. Let's get at her. Off the drop, big hit here. Center ice shelter is pinned up the puck. Nice contact initiated. That by the defenseman Brinson. The puck sent back into the rocket zone, deep left corner. Here's Merrick Rocheck with it now. He'll feed the puck off here to Gabriel Stutz. Stutz will pump it out of shelter, knocked away. Came to center though. Brinson. He'll alley oop it back behind the corner rocket goal. Converging on it there, that's Ethan Middlestad. He'll move at the right side of his own net, and now he'll move through the middle. He'll look to his right, and he'll feed out a shelter. He'll send it in here for a Gimla. Knocked away, as we heard from head coach Chris Millett on the pregame show tonight. Andrew Crystal will not start the game playing with Gabriel Stutz. Those two have been together all season long, but again, the line out here, it's a Ginla with Whiteman and Stutz. Puck came to center, ice here's Kipke. And he'll move the puck on the left corner inside the attacking zone. He'll rim it, right point, Merrick Rocek. Rocek will gulp it back from the goal and accept it here by Gabriel Stutz. Stutz goes in front for a Ginla, can't get it in his wheelhouse. He lost it, and it came back out of center. D to D play here. Middle stand for Rocek. Right side center. Shelter back in. A fire! And a right pad save by Kraus. There's the first shot on goal. It comes essentially three minutes into the hockey game. Again, it's a scoreless deadlock. And here's Newman at his own line. He's forced back in his own zone. He'll get it to Kipke. Kipke's got a race to it in the right corner. Converging on him is a Ginla. Moved off the near side board. Scott can handle. And it comes all the way back into the rocket zone. Here's Middle stand. Lost it. Scott got a dangerous player. He'll take back on the goal. He'll look out in front. Went to the blue line as they move it around. Left point, Brenton. And he'll fire. And a blocker save made by the goaltender kicking in. Kicking in again, 19 years of age. Remains back on the goal. And gathered up here by LaVenture. He's hit off it. It's kicking in. There's lost his stick on the play. Can the Royals capitalize? Well, the Rockets do get it to center ice and then sift it back inside Colorado Rocket territory. But that's scary when the goalie doesn't have a stick. Still doesn't have it. The Colorado Rockets go to the power play. First chance of the game. And here's Crystal. Blue line. Caden Price down to Crystal. In front. Chip shot again. Knocked away. Came to the side. And Cross was down. And trying to convert was Crystal, but he couldn't get his handle or the stick on the block. It's picked up here by Ginla Blue line. Corner. Stutes. Behind the goal, shelter. Far side for Gabriel Stutz. Team captain, high slot again over Crystal shot and cross the save. They have gone above Keller before it went to the goalie. And a race for it down low in the corner. It's won by the Rockets. Stutz near side board. Andrew Crystal. Right face up dot for TJ Ginla. 30 goals or make the 34 goals this year. He'll get it now to Crystal. Cross his delivery, hit a stick. And corralled here by Stutz. He'll get it now to a Ginla. He likes to shoot. Leads the Rockets in that category. A wrister blocked. Another chance. It's good. Cross the T, dot the I. T. Jack Ginla, his 35th of the campaign. Power play goal. And the Rockets a 1-0 lead. Good puck movement. Take that on his own goal. Moves that puck here to Gillespie. Gillespie pokes it back by the net, but he misguided that pass to Sandra King and collected back by the goal here, LaVenture. LaVenture has played very well since being acquired in a WHL trade with Victoria. He again has elevated his, his play. He's a 20-year-old here in the WHL. He had 26 goals with Lethbridge last year. So, again, a guy that can light the lap. Here's Pasternak at the blue line, looks in. Again, playing defense here tonight for Kipke. Kipke trying to send to the goal. Pinball, came to the side, look out. Trebecki couldn't get a shot away as it gravitated to him. The puck did, but he couldn't get a shot in the high slot area. Race for it in the right corner. Rockets running around. And here's Pasternak, half board right side. Trying to rotate to the blue line. Feeds it to Trebecki. He'll fire through traffic over the top wide. LaVenture takes back behind the net. Has it in that right corner. LaVenture again, a 22 goal man this year. And 49 points to the blue line for Fryer. Left point, Kipke. Down low corner, centering feed. Reshny can't get a shot away. Guarded away by Sandra Kang. And he'll spray the puck back out to center ice. Good job by the Royals to control the puck. You talk about LaVenture. He's had a point in every game he's worn the Royals uniform. Yeah, he's been good, hasn't he? Yeah, goals in five of his last six. Here's a sharp angle shot. That's inside the Royals zone. Save made by Krause and now kicked to center. And one here by Kowalik. Two of those games, so... Points of plenty in the first two. Is that not the highest scoring game in the WHL this year? A 9 7 Victoria win? Yes, it is. 16 total goals by both teams. If you look at the high scores, Kipke with seven points for the Royals. Crystal with 10 for the Rockets in the four games. Yeah. Four goals and six assists. He's got one tonight. Amazing, right? Just, yeah, a lot of scoring between these two hockey clubs. A lot of fun for the fans. Headache for the coaching staff. The puck goes back for the Rocket goal. Here's Caden Price trying to work away from a check. Good job here in the forecheck is Haugen. Haugen out there. Reggie Newman. Tanner Scott as well. 
Here's Price on right wing. Price gets away here from Haugen. Then lost it. Then get it back again. And propelled behind the goal. And Ethan Middlestad has it on his blade. Through the middle. Stutz takes it out of center. Lane feet on left wing again. Well, he can't handle. The puck goes back behind the goal. Cross in the trapezoid. will play the puck to the far corner board. And now the Royals regroup in their own zone. Here's Lane feet left side center. Scott. He can't handle. And as we get a better game from the visiting team when they're enjoy where they are on the road sometimes you're just a little more upbeat a little more positive uh, things are a little easier in victoria ferry ride kind of little bonding time i wouldn't want to do it all the time oh no i wouldn't either <laughs> twice a year is nice yeah right yeah i mean the rocket session make yeah technically two trips to victoria over the course of the season Here's a Gillow with it now inside the attacking zone. Left face of Duck Stutes. Back for Iggy. He can't get a shot away. Has it near sideboard. Waits, holds, centering feed. Stutes in his skates. One on right wing Burlock, and he'll prance now to center. Gains a red line, and he'll dump it in. It slowly caroms right corner. Inside the Kelowna Rocket zone. Stutes in the back truck. Good play. Out the right side of his own net. Gets it to Shelter. Luke Shelter center. Bumped up it by LaVenture. Goes back towards the Rocket Blue Line. Here's Caden Price with it now. Price lost it. Freshly got it. And he'll just poke it back inside Kelowna Country. And here's Caden. You know, back D to D to just set up shop is okay. But going back again shows you they're having some problems. There's Chichek in. Wrist shot. And Cross made the save there. And then flared off the right wall by Fryer. Back out of the neutral zone. Under one minute left to go here in the first period. Rockets again with a 2-0 lead. And the puck right of the Royal Line. Here's Hogan with it. He can't clear. Jammed up by Stutz. He tried to center the corner, knocked away by Reggie Newman. And Newman gets it to center for Tanner Scott, and he's away. Here comes Tanner Scott on left wing. Reggie Newman way inside the zone. Too prematurely <laughs> whistled down on the outside. That's the place you want to shoot from. We got a steal here. Here's Burlock at the Rocket Blue Line Rister. And uh, save made by the goaltender. Kick it in. Shoulder stop there. Remains deep in the corner. And here is uh, Kowala trying to move away from a four check. Tied up. In there's Pasternak trying to work hard. Reich as well. Came loose. Reich. Face up. Dot. Look a shot. Right face up. Dot drilled it wide and then looks to the heavens for support as the puck literally caroms off the end board all the way back into the Royal Zone. Ten seconds left in the frame. Burlock could have easily made it 2 1. That would have been a big goal. Rockets gave up a few of those last minute of the period. First. Welcome back inside Prosper of Place for the second period brought to you by Adler Mechanical. Check out AdlerMechanical.com on the World Wide Web. Rockets a 2-0 lead off the draw, one by Stutz. D to D middle stat here to road check. Right side center shelter. And he'll knock it back by the road goal. Cross will move the puck to the corner for Pasternak. Lost it. Again, look at it. Again, look taking it outside of the net. An early power play chance for Kelowna. Touched by not. Kipke. It's number 20. I'll figure out who that is in a minute. You go ahead. Haugen gets the penalty, I think. Correct. Thank and you. The Rockets go to the man advantage. Here's Stooch down low. He'll get the puck here to shelter. Back to Gabriel Stooch. Touch pass Price. He'll fire. Shot from long range wide. Collected off the end ward. And then Crystal can't handle. And it came back out of center. Andrew Crystal is home blue line. Now through the middle. Right across that Kalora Rocket logo. He'll skate in on left wing. Has it down low the corner. And he'll send far side board. Gabriel Stooch. He likes to get that puck in his wheelhouse for a one-timer. Stooch blue line. Susser pass for Aguila. Aguila, by the way, now has six goals in the seasonal series against Victoria. He has it in the corner, lost it to Kipke, who moves the puck to Reggie Newman, and he'll jam it back out of center. And here's Caden Price now. He'll backpedal to zone line, pass on right wing. Here's Gabriel Stutz, and he'll penetrate. Half board right side. Rockets on a power play, trying to build up a 3 nothing lead here. Here's Shelter down low right corner. He'll take back from the goal. Up top, Crystal, left face of dot middle. Aguila shot! And a stick save by Cross, puck high in the air. Flanked down by Crystal. He'll poke it to the blue line for Caden Price. He tried to send here to Stutz, knocked away. Reshny gets it to center, and he'll glide it all the way back behind the Rocket goal. Check. Actually, that's Gillespie behind the net, pardon me. Near side for Gabriel Stutz. Center, shelter. Left wing again, look. Again, look, waiting and holding. He'll jam it back towards the Royal line. Give it up there. And now the Rockets counter back in. Again on left wing. He'll wait to hold it. Fire! And a save made by the goal tenner. Nice stop here by Kraus. He's dialed in early in the second. Four minutes gone in the frame. And again, the Rockets with a 2 nothing lead. Puck down low inside the Rockets zone. Puck high in the air. Bit of a jump ball, if you will. Reich is in there. As is Price. Price gets it here to Aginla. Aginla can't clear. Good forecheck here by Victoria. Now Aginla gets it back on his blade. Crosses delivery, but knocked away by Reich. And he'll knock it back behind the Rocket goal. Kicking it nicely. Plays it far side for Shelter. Shelter lost it. Karam's back by the Rocket net. And there's Caden Price deep in the right corner. Caden Price, a Seattle crack and draft pick. Sends to center off the glass and down. And here is Fryer in his own zone. Again, he does the same thing as Price did. Off the glass to center. It's right in front of the timekeeper shot. Cross the stick save. And one 
won by Fryer right in front of his own goal. Gets it out of center lead feed. LaVenture a little quiet so far tonight. He'll try to move in. He gets a down low left corner, but knocked away by Middlestad on the back track. He'll move it through the middle here for Gabriel Schultz. He's away in center. Looks to his right, and he'll get it out of shelter. He'll skate in. Cross his delivery for Aginla. Aginla shoot angle shot. And a stick save made by the goaltender. Cross goes back on the net. Move quickly. Far side board. Great job by Hiroki Goisik. Fresh legs out here for Kelowna. Board battle ensues. Gabriel Stutz is in there. He'll try to get it free. Can't get away from Reich. Came to the blue line. Here's a shot. Gillespie. Got to be right. Because, you know, shot clock's never wrong. Yeah, right. Well, yeah. Uh, you, you look at the body of work, though. The shot volume for Victoria. The lowest shots of any team in the WHL on average. Coming into the game here tonight, they averaged 26.6 shots on goal per game. The lowest of any team in the WHL. Here's again on right wing, enters the zone, right face up dot. He has it down low in the right corner. Tries to get away from a check. Again, again, scoring his 35th goal of the season. Again, he's draft eligible in June. His dad, Jerome, scored 33 goals in his draft year. Shot blue line from Sandra Kang blocked. One by LaVenture, and he'll propel it back to center. Kaden Price at his own line. Near side, Stutz. Touch pass again. Again, goes back to Stutz. He can't handle, but the puck goes down low left corner inside the Royal Zone. It's gathered up at the side of the goal. Stutz tried to send it in. I mean, we saw them during the pregame warm-up here tonight. They all filed in. They were all like, you know, everybody was just, I mean, it was consistent as they, yeah. they, they were like little, uh, uh, what ants as they were you know going, going to the respective seats there I mean just as you said precision 101 back to hockey here's again he'll accept at his own line far side board gets away from a check puts in the binders pass on right wing Gabriel Stutz he'll scamper in handcuffed in the play by Pickford on the back track and now located here by Kipke on right wing and moved out of center ice 616 remaining in the frame sent now all the way down by Kipke race for right corner getting to it Pickford and Middlestead, and they grapple. The remains back behind the net. It's technically in that trapezoid area. Kick it in, waiting as he has his left leg pinned against that near post. And he's also trying to look out in front to see if anybody's there. Here's Tanner Scott, a steal right corner. Blue line, Fryer, he'll fire! And Stutz did a great job to get into a shooting lane and pinball off his leg. And a race for now back inside the Royal Zone. One by again, love for Stutz in front! Chance! Oh! What a save by Kroos! What a tremendous chance! And Kroos came up massively there. A scorpion-like save as he got a piece with his leg. Ginla shot at the right face of circle. Kroos blocked by Pickford. Pickford jams it forward, and he'll get it out of center. But a good job by Kaden Price, who came out of nowhere. And he gets it to center. Pass on left wing. And here's Gabriel Stutz. He'll skate in. High slot. Again, the shot. May have been blocked. Price a chance. He can't pull the trigger. Remains down low. Side of the net. Brinson there. Brinson gets away from shelter. He'll get it out of Pasternak. Deep in the corner. Nice. Outlet pass through the middle. And Reshney takes it to center. Skates back in. Left hand shot. Rister. Left pad saved by kicking in there. Flared it out. Made it look easy, but it was hard. Again, let's Gates back in, trying to go cross ice. Here's Stutes, waits, holds, has in the corner. Try to pinball it off the goalie, and a save by Kraus there. Kraus looking awkward right now, but hey, effective. Can the blue line, can Koala keep it in? I don't think he did. For the third period, off the draw, one here by Gabriel Stutz, collected by Rocek. He'll feed the puck to Middlestad, left side center again, knocked away, and the Royals send it back inside the attacking zone. Rocek off the right wall for Luke Shelter. He lost it. It's sent back towards the Rocket Blue Line again. Rockets regroup with it there. Rocek, Middlestad, left side of Ginla. Knocked away and countering a Scott. Inside the zone, here's a shot from the far side board. Reggie Newman, easy stick save by Yari Kekkonen. That's only a, the 11th shot on goal the Royals have had in the hockey game tonight. Still a tight one, though. Still a nail biter as the Rockets lead by a pair. Remains in the corner, Tanner Scott. Ribbed off it by Gabriel Stutz. Picked up by Ginla. He'll backhand it behind his own net. And here's Ethan Middlestad, lost it. Reggie Newman, side of the Goal in front. Kipke a drive. Stad got it. And a backhanded to center ice. Here's a chance for Haugen to knock it into the corner. And here's Kowalik. Kowalik moves the puck to a Ginla. Went up a skate blade. Royals keep it alive down low right corner. They're knocked away. Lean feed center. Stutes for a Ginla. Chance. Backhand. And a save left pad by Kraus. Centering feet again. Shelter couldn't get a shot away. Again, Kraus comes up large and it remains 2 0. Here comes Newman back inside the zone. Tri City leads Wenatchee. 4 1. That game actually has just ended now. So a victory for Tri City in Wenatchee. Wow, that's not good news from a Rocket perspective.
But you got Tri-City nibbling at the uh, teams in the lower echelons of the Western Conference. Tri-City right now was, would miss postseason play. But again, they're uh, coming up with a large victory tonight again against the Wild. They're one point behind Spokane, although three extra games played. There we go. Here's Stutes near side board. Trying to send back towards the blue line. Hit a stick and goes high in the air. Price has got to hurry back in his own zone. He'll send out a center. Burlock is there. Jammed up it by Stutes. Nice contact. He's been pretty solid oh. back there. It's easily maybe a two or three more goals. He's been tremendous. Yeah, locked into the game tonight. Again, surrendered two in the first. Here's from Becky in wrist shot. And kicking it makes a nice blocker save there. He tracks the puck extremely well in this game tonight. It's at a center. And here's Kipke. Pasternak, middle, Burlock. He can't handle. Race for in the corner. And here's Merrick Rocek. Behind the goal, Dina Dina Cedric Kang. Left wing, Stutz. Nice outlet pass. And here comes Iggy. Here comes again on right side center. Inside the zone to the middle. He should shoot. He won't. He'll feed to Stutz for a Gillis shot. And saved by Kraus. Remains right corner. Half board right side. Stutz centering feed. Knocked away by Burlock. And it comes down to center. Uh oh. Reshny back in. Left face up. Down to the middle. Backhand. Penalty coming up here. This one is going to be going to the Rockets. If the Rockets win this in regulation, they will move to within nine of the Royals with one game in hand. Yeah, that's right. Rockets have played one fewer game than Victoria. Puck picked up by Cedric Hang in his own zone. A pass in right wing shelter, and he'll send all the way down. And there's Jones with a steal. Inside the zone. Cedric feed in front for a Gimlo, but he can't tap it home. Here's Tanner Scott. And his high horse. He'll bring right side center. Inside the zone. Right face up dot for Newman. Back to Scott. Sends it towards the goal. Blocked. Again, has it in his skates. Can he get it to center? No, Scott kept it alive. And he'll knock it to the corner. Good play. And here's Cedric Hang with it now. Side of his own net. Pass on right wing, Gabriel Stutz. And here he comes down to center. Through the middle, again, look. Back in. Try to feed on left wing for Shelter. That's broken up. And propelled back out of center ice. Caden Price has it now. And his own blue line. He'll back pedal near sideboard. He'll get it now to Aginla. Aginla looking forward. Goes back to Price. Then to center Kang. Left wing. Price, he's away. Price tries to move in. But he is trapped with some offensive opportunities. A third goal would come in very, very handy. You got to be careful, though. Royals pressing. You mentioned it. They do like to come from behind. They will. They ain't going away. Oh, there's a big hit. Yeah, big hit at center ice. Again, Ginla knocked down. Contact made here behind. It was Trembecki, I think, that laid the boom. And Ginla lost his helmet on the play. Rice for it down low in the left corner. That is inside Rocket territory. Shelter and Price out here trying to win a board battle. Price will steal behind the net. Moves away from Burlock. And he'll jam it out of center for an awaiting Stutz. Touch pass for Ginla. And he'll skate in. Ginla waits. He'll feed now to Gabriel Stutz in the right corner. Stutz gets away from Brinson. He'll try to go back towards the blue line, but intercepted. And now here's Burlock left side center. Burlock back in, right hand shot. Trailer, Smizelka, shot left face up, dot whiffed on it. And again, he'll try to flare to center, took an awkward bounce off the board. And now Shelter gets it on left wing. And he'll drive it back here for Pasternak. Took pa forever, but finally the stick hits to Price, and he heads off on a line change. What action. Royals pressing. Here's Pasternak with it at the blue line. He'll look in, waits, holds, shakes away a check of Shelter, sends it towards the net, blocked in front, goes back by the net, and here's Middlestad. He can't clear. Rockets back on their heels now. Oh, and finally the puck came to center ice as Haugen stick handled and lost control of the puck. Wow, he had it at the blue line there. Just one too many as he was being pressured. Good forward pressure by Aginla, though. And the Rockets send it all the way down the Ice. Ethan Middlestad will relieve pressure. And so we don't It's Gabriel Stutz that lost the face off to Reggie Newman. Here's Mazelka. Wrist shot. And kicking in made a nice blocker save there on a sharp angle shot. On right wing shelter. Gets it out of center. Again, low with a chance. Maybe a clear cut breakaway. Skates in left face off. Done a shot. And a